Yo, what is going on, you guys? B Jack here, and in today's video, we'll be talking about Damian Lillard. Is he the most underrated NBA player? Um, in my opinion, yes. I'm gonna put that out there right now. But before I start the video, you know, you guys gotta make sure to subscribe because we're on the road to 200 subscribers. And like the video, road to 200 subscribers. Anyways, you guys, let's get started in the video. Um, Damian Lillard. 25.9 points per game, 6.9 assists per game, and I believe it was 5 rebounds when I checked per game. Now that is some pretty good stats, guys. But when you talk about Damian Lillard, you can't only talk about stats. Or an underrated player, you can't only talk about stats. You gotta talk about team success. Team success. Now, of course, yes, the team... Hasn't been the most successful or over the last few years. They've been knocked out of the playoffs decently early. Um, the last few years, in specific, the first round. Um, that that kind of, that really sucks for the Portland Trailblazers, and it's really unfortunate for them. But they gotta. I don't know. They got they gotta group together. And they gotta play better. Okay, that's not all Lillard's fault, in my opinion. Lillard shows up a lot of times. Maybe not always, but a lot of times, Damian Lillard is there showing up. Okay, but we can't only talk about playoff success. We gotta talk about season, regular season success. Now, this season in the NBA, the Portland Trailblazers ended up with the third seed in the Western Conference. With. I believe over 50 wins. Now, that is that is very significant. You know, you guys, please don't hate on me if Portland Trailblazers has got 49 wins. Because it's, it's between 49 and 51, okay? So chill out. Or something like that, okay? So chill out. Chill out, haters. Got something wrong. My bad. Sorry, I don't look all this stuff up. I just know it off the top of my head from watching it, okay? So chill out. If I forget about something, chill out. Anyways, <laughs> let's continue on. Damian Lillard, they got the third seed right now. They played great during the regular season. They still played pretty good without Jusuf Nurkic, who um, played a pretty big role for the Portland Trailblazers early in the season. And they still played pretty well without him. Yes, of course, they could have played better with, with him. And maybe tried to push for a second seed. But, you know... It's it's whatever, you know. Damian Lillard, when you talk about is he underrated, can he play defense? I believe Damian Lillard can play defense. I mean, I don't think he's the best defender in any way, but he can go out there and get a couple steers. Steal, oh my gosh, I almost said steers. Steals for UA Knight. You know, he can go out and play. And at the end of the game, when it's crunch time, he's going to go up there and give his heart and soul into defense and offense on both sides of the floor and that is a big in a player now you talk about other N NBA players that are underrated right now you know you may talk, be able to talk about John Collins you know you may be able to talk about Derrick Rose honestly right now because he's he played great during the regular season you know you may be able to talk about some other players, okay? But Damian Lillard is not thought of as... People normally don't talk about him when they're talking about great point guards. I mean, even of all time, I think Damian Lillard is a great point guard of all time. Yeah, he ain't a top five point guard of all time. But he sure as heck can make his way there pretty dang soon because he's been playing like a baller the last few seasons and basically his whole career. He's very underrated, and I think people should actually look into Damian Lillard. Alright? Okay, now when you talk about, oh, his team hasn't been successful in the playoffs, you can't blame that on him. He goes out, plays his heart and soul, but guess what? Guess how much great teammates he has. Guys, just look at the roster that the Portland Trailblazers has had the last few years, and tell me Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers if he was actually underrated. Tell me that they should be in the NBA Finals or even the Conference Finals. They just didn't have the team. They didn't have the roster, you know, or they didn't have 
the coach. I mean, yes, I feel like the Portland Trailblazers have a very solid coach in Terry Stotts. But I feel like soon enough, if the Portland Trailblazers don't get out of this first round, they're going to have to try to find a new coach, in my opinion. Now, Damian Lillard, this like the end of the video, guys. So my conclusion is he is very underrated. Do I think he's the most underrated player in the league? Yes, I do, guys. 25 points. Almost 26. And almost 7 assists. You know, this... This dude's a baller. Just watch the games. You know, the stats don't say everything. Just watch the game. Alright? Anyways, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Because I try to upload basketball videos very consistently. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.